Welcome back guys. Today in this tutorial, I will do something different than my usual tutorials. Today I will show you guys how to create a WordPress CMS website from start to finish. This tutorial is good for beginners who want to learn how to create a WordPress website from scratch and you will also learn some basic stuff about hosting and domain and how to create a CMS site from start to the end. Before we start with this tutorial, you guys need two things in order to proceed to create a CMS website. Because CMS websites are dynamic websites, dynamic websites only can be run on a server, Not we cannot view as a HTML file. So you need to have a local host or a purchased domain and a host online number one you need to have a domain name and number two you need to have a host domain names are basically the url address your website maybe www.google.com is google's domain name or digital at creation dot shop is our domain name we also have other domain names so these domain names you guys can purchase from domain name provider example godaddy usually basic domain names can cost you from maybe five dollars to even like thousand dollars up to your name but the regular sites for beginning beginner levels you can purchase around fifteen dollars or twenty dollars maximum for these payments are per year at the same time the host also you can get from so many hosting providers godaddy also a hosting provider in this tutorial i will show you guys how to use godaddy host with the godaddy domain to create our wordpress website and this host is basically where all your files, physical files and the database, everything will be going to be. All right. Uh, if you guys don't have these uh, public domains or pub URLs, you can still test and create website using localhost. Localhost are softwares, example, Zam or WAMP. These things basically change your PC or Mac into a server, a host, where you can put your dynamic PHP or other files to create the uh, CMS website. I will create another separate video on this, how to create and install a local host in your PC for Windows. But today's tutorial, I will be focusing on using a public domain and public OS with GoDaddy. All right, guys. So hope you guys understand this part. So you need to have a domain name and a host or a subdomain name, which is a domain name you already have, but it's already used. You can still create a web website inside this domain name example, uh, sasi comma the c-comma.com is my main domain name but you can create another folder inside let's say uh, test and you can use this one as uh, as your url also all right guys so let's go ahead and let's go into uh, godaddy portal and i will show you guys what how to access your cpanel how to install wordpress and let's continue from there i already logged into my godaddy portal so once you log in you will be still in your main website in here uh, to access your portal just go to your account on top in here and click on it and just go to uh, visit your account which will bring to your account details page in here. So as you guys can see, I have a couple of domain names in here. Some of them are hidden because I don't want to show all the domain names in my account. And here, this is my host. 
and this host I have purchased from GoDaddy also. If you have other uh, hosting providing services, you can still use GoDaddy URLs and there will be, it will be something similar to this portal. Nowadays, all cPanels look almost similar. What we are going to do in here is same in most cases. All right, guys. Okay, so this is where we are going to work with. So I'm going to close this and I'm going to open my hosting cPanel from here. So I click on manage, which will bring me to the cPanel of my uh, account. And you can directly go to cPanel from here. It will open up the cPanel. So once you are in cPanel, you, can, you guys can see all these details in here. They have separated all section into categories example files with access will be in here database will be in here domain details are here and uh, all the other things you can see below all right so in my case i'm going to install a uh, wordpress straight to a url uh, straight to a domain name which i already purchased so you guys can see that from uh, the domain names in here or just go to file manager which will open up this part and go into public HTML all your domain names will be listed in here and the root files will be shown in here as well okay so the domain name which I'm going to install WordPress today is this one GGS book by default you guys will see some files here but I have already deleted them because they are basically index file which was created by your hosting provider and you don't need those files when you're installing WordPress into this domain. Uh, there is also this uh, folder in here you guys can see this is created by the system. You can delete this one also but it will recreate this folder so in our case, we are not going to delete it one. We are going to leave it as it is. Let's go to our URL, which is www, uh, G, uh, which is ggs.com and see what we see there. As you guys can see, there is provident because there is no index file there. So the WordPress is, uh, the, the domain is stopping. So let's start Notepad and create an index file. So I'm just typing some basic HTML here, h1, uh, just say welcome welcome and let's close these brackets and I'm going to save this file as an index.html file I already saved the file and let's upload this file to this folder here uh, to upload let's go to the upload section which will be here and just select the file which will be should be here all right select and upload okay upload is completed now we go back and see refresh the page and see now you will see our index file here so now if we refresh our front end you guys will see we have this welcome message there all right, guys, so this is how you define a website HTML page to your house. You can have your all, if you are creating a HTML website, you can have all your HTML files in here, even the image files, then your website will work perfectly all right. But in our case, we are going to use WordPress. Let's go to WordPress and let's download WordPress from here. And let's get the WordPress from here. Okay, so the latest version is 5.2.2, right? So let's download the WordPress and which is downloading, already downloaded. And let's, okay, so already download this file. Copy this file to somewhere, maybe desktop. I just put here desktop, okay, WordPress 5.2. So let's go back to GGS cPanel here and let's upload this file here first upload and select we can also we can also drag and drop here like this and upload is completed okay so we go back to c panels in here we go back to the place for a refresh and it's inside tgs bookshop as you guys can see our wordpress 2.2 is already there 
So what I'm going to do is I will delete this index file. Okay, and just delete, it will ask whether to keep in trash or just delete permanently, I just delete permanently. And since it's a zip file, I select this and I'm going to extract this one using this tool, file manager tool in here. So I'll extract, it will ask where to extract. I can put it in the root folder or even create a new WordPress folder. It doesn't matter, it's all up to you guys. So in my case, I'm just going to put it into the root folder and say extract. Okay, so extract is completed. Again, you have to do a refresh and just refresh this page. It will go to public again and we have to go back to DGS and you guys can see it will it already put the WordPress into a WordPress folder, which is fine. We copy all of them. Just say move and we move to the root folder. All right. So we already moved. Let's go one level up. You can see all the files are in here. Now we don't need this WordPress folder and the WordPress zip file. I select both of them and delete. Okay, skip same thing and confirm. So it deleted the file. Now if you guys go to the domain here, it will say this message in here. So we select the language file. Before we install, we need to do two things. Let's go back to the cPanel here and go to database and we create go to uh, MySQL databases and this installation what I'm showing you guys is a manual installation which is best way to install in my opinion because you will have all the control for yourself you can also install WordPress directly from your service provider like this in here but these the, the 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 WordPress which is installing installed from here may not be the same version as this this WordPress the original core. There may be modification based on their preferences. Also, some of sometimes you won't have full access to those uh, data files. So that's why manual installation is always better. At the same time, you are going to do the same thing like this in your local host or any other host. So once you learn how to do the manual install, you will know everything from start to finish how the CMS site work, all right? Okay, so we already copy the physical files into the manager and we are already ready to start. But what we need to do now is we need to create a database for this WordPress. To create a database, it's very simple. Go to database and MySQL database and uh, let's create the database. I'm going to give you a database name like dbggs uh, and just create the database. All right, so database is already created. Let's go back. And now this time what I'm going to do is we are going to create a user for this database and that user we are going to use for WordPress to access the database, all right? So we have created the GGS database, which is empty. Uh, so this database, you can see it's empty. Now let's create a, a user for this database. So the database name will be db, db ggs wp. So basically just a database uh, access for G uh, WordPress by DGS website, so anything you want, right? So let's create a password, let's generate a password and where you can see in here, just copy this password and open notepad and just copy this password for now, all right? And minimize and just say I have copied, use this password and create user. All right, so we have created the database and we have created the user. Now, what we need to do is let's copy this username and put it here. Also, let's go back, 
copy the database name which is dbgs and let's copy the db name also like this in here and now we have created a user and the database now we have to assign the user to that database right so we let's assign the user for the database so user will be dbggswp database will be uh, dbggs all right and let's add it all right guys so this part is important to remember when you install a database the first time you just give all privileges but after you install all the tables and everything please come back and change these settings i will show you guys what settings need to be done you only need uh, select insert and uh, update and delete the all the other things you don't need you don't need to give all privileges from here but for now let's stick to all privileges and let's say make changes all right so now our database has been created user has been created and the user is already assigned to the database as well okay so let's go to the installation process in here uh, I'm going to choose English United States. You can choose your know, any of these language if you are different from these settings and just going to be continue and it will ask all these details. So you need to have all these details ready. So let's go our date. Let's copy the database name, which we already copied earlier, which is not this one. This one DBGGS copy and paste username and username will be db hyphen dbggswp we already copy and the password we copy from here and let's place the password okay database hosting okay this one is a bit tricky this is not the local house which i, I was talked about earlier but if you are using godaddy c panel this c panel in here you need to leave this local as, as it is but if you are using other uh, other hosting types such as plex or web there it will be different you need to find out from your hosting provider each uh, application will have its own uh, thing so you have to check with the hosting provider what to put in here normally you will get the instruction in your site anyway Alright, so in my case it's cPanel, so I will just leave local has local host as it is and submit. Alright, so if all okay, we can installation will work fine. Alright, so installation process is done. Now it's asking the details for the WordPress user. Remember, this is for WordPress user, not the uh, C panel or hosting user. So this is where the admin user you're going to create for the WordPress site. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to define a site name. Site name will be GGS book book books and the username uh, add um, GGS admin admin uh, zero one and and the password i just create a password here maybe okay i have created a password and the email i will say define my email and you can define whether to discourage search engine for indexing the site. Let's say if you are creating a site for testing purpose or you don't want to pub publish your site first until you finish with your website, you can select this part in here, discourage search engine from this site. So I'll just select this one for now and let's install WordPress. Okay guys, so our installation is a success. So I'm going to give the password which I have given. The username is this one. And let's log in. All right guys, we have our dashboard. 
Uh, for beginners, dashboard is where you will configure and post uh, content to your website, create pa pages, and do everything behind. This is the admin panel. And the front end, you can see the website now from here. So we have, we will have the basic, uh, since there is nothing in our site, there is a default post by the WordPress and there are content in here. This is the basic theme, which is the default WordPress theme, which is installed at, at the moment. And now what we need to do is we need to configure posts, pages, appearance, the theme settings and everything. All right, guys, so I will make uh, this uh, tutorial as series. Uh, in the next tutorial, I will show you guys how to create a basic posts and pages. Also, I will show you guys how to configure the menu. And, and in, after that, we will go from the basic WordPress site to a professional WordPress site where you can sell your items uh, using WooCommerce. Also, I will try to install a, a paid theme and uh, how to customize the site as a very professional site. All right. So hope you guys like this tutorial and if you guys like this tutorial, please give me thumbs up and um, see you guys in the next next tutorial.